Hey guys, this is Camfrey15 and I'm back at it with another video for you guys. And this is another fairy tale 100 year quest manga chapter review. It's a pretty interesting chapter here, a pretty interesting chapter. We get the foreshadowing of, well, I'm guessing events to come and stuff like that, as well as we say goodbye to Mystican and his company in this manga chapter. There were some funny dialogue scenes here, but um, yeah, anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, this is Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest manga chapter 67, titled Aqua Era. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of the chapter and stuff like that. I'm um, talking about some things that, you know, is pretty interesting that I like and stuff like that or what I found funny. Um, but otherwise, we'll be in here and then we'll be out. Anyways, um, the cover page of the manga is just missed again with a bird or something like that. So, yeah. Now, obviously, you know, the last place where we left off was where they're talking about the, the, the dragon god, the moon dragon god, Selene. And then they tell uh, Mystagon that they're on the 100 year quest while they're doing a job to take down all these god dragons and stuff like that. Now, um, Happy asks, you know, Mystagon, like, wait, does that mean you know about Selene? And Jalal replies by saying, I don't know much about Selene, but, but what I do know is that dragon can, you know, transverse and travel dimensions which is some crazy type of power we're dealing with um, and stuff like that. Now, um, Nightwalker replies by saying, however, um, on records, um, the anime project was determined to be unsuccessful if, you know, a dragon like that existed and stuff like that. And, um, you know, that's when Lucy comes up with the question. She's like, I guess that dragon could come to this world to regain any magic power that was taken from it, right? And stuff like that. Now, um, Urza, um, Scarlet, not Nightwalker, um, asks Mystigan, like, hey, um, you know, is like Ellen Tear, does it have magic and stuff like that? Now, um, Jalal, Jesus, these characters, damn it. Um, Mystigan um, goes on to say that Elantir is the exact opposite of Edelis. And um, because it, he, ba he basically says Elantir is essentially full of magic. It's rich with magic and stuff like that. The point like it's overflowing. Yes, I love that Broly reference. The magic is overflowing. Anyways, and stuff like that. Now, Lucy even brings up a question. It's like, so does that mean, like, Elantir actually has more magic, you know, power or more magic than Earthland? Which is a actually pretty simple or pretty, you know, fairly good question to ask. Like, well, if it's magic in this Elantir world is overflowing, does that mean you can get more magic output, you know, if you're an Elantir? Which, funny enough, in the next panel, um, Natsu actually thinks he's like, he thinks of Edelus, can't use magic. Earthling, he can use like his regular magic, but here he's like thinking like, oh, he can use his fire magic, his fire dragon magic out the wazoo. And I'm like, I wonder if that's how it works. It probably isn't gonna how, it might go that direction if Mashima wants to go that direction, but I don't think it will. I think maybe it'll just make your magic much more stronger, I'm guessing. So, yeah, but hey, it might be a case where your magic is like out of control types of power and stuff like that. So yeah. Now anyways, um, as they're discussing, they see this portal come out of nowhere. And next thing you know, it's a ring of water and you see um, Toka actually stick her head out and stuff like that. Um, I did find it funny how Toka actually go jumps out of the portal, hugs Happy on contact. They cut over to Carla and Carla's like, Carla's like, <sighs> and it's like, okay, um, are they going to play this route where Carla starts to get jealous of Happy or of Toga because how she uh, gets so uh, cuddly up with um, Happy? I, I really hope they go that direction where they finally make Carla at least maybe have some feelings towards Happy, even though Happy does act a little 
immature, but we know Happy King gets serious. But I do hope, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Carla gets a little jealous bone in her heart. And she's like, I can't take this damn other ex seed, you know, with my happy. And stuff like that. Now, this is when Toka explains um, what the hell's um, going on. Now, she goes on to say she connected Earthland and Edelus by using the Aqua Era magic and stuff like that. Even though she explains that it was difficult. Now, I probably feel like the reason why it was difficult is because Edelus has no magic. So, of course, it'd probably be difficult to connect Earthland to Edelus and stuff like that. Anyways, this is when Toka explains herself and her origins and stuff like that. So, she goes on to say that she comes from the world known as Ellen Tier and that her race is, the is an Exe, which we already know. So, it seems that, you know, um, Atlas and um, Art, it seems like um, maybe there were some Exes that, um, you know, came from, obviously, you know, Ellinger, maybe to Edelus when they were first, you know, transferred here through all the magic powers and stuff like that, with what um, Edelus was doing. So maybe there's actually some X seeds out there, and heck, maybe there might be some X seeds from um, Earthland that could potentially used to have lived out in um, Ellentier. She never brings up the fact that, you know, they used to live in Edelus, but I'm guessing maybe there was some, you know, X seeds that, you know, were in Atlas, but maybe they returned to Elantir instead of some of them went to Earthland. Um, but it's implied that all the um, X seeds that were in Atlas returned strictly back to Earthland. Um, although her cat design, the way she looks, especially in the way of her face, it looks a lot like Lecter, which I believe is Sting's cat. So um, yeah. Anyways, um, like a like. You know, the talk is going on. She goes on to say, yes, although when I said I came here, it'd be more accurate to say I was brought here. Um, now, she goes on to talk about the whole issue with the White Wizard and stuff like that. Now, she goes on to say, I was taken over by the White Wizard in Elantir. And I also learned that the White Wizard is a human from Elantir. So the White Wizard is from, you know, which is the girl we see, we've seen in the past couple of manga chapters go crazy and stuff like that. Okay, so she's a human from Ellen Tier. Um, she goes on to say, the White Wizard used my body and Aqua Air to come to Earthland. Now, Carla replies by saying like, well, for what reason now? You know, Toka's like, I have no clue why the White Wizard would come to your world and stuff like that. But she does remember that the one, the you know, when we last saw the girl, I believe two chapters ago, so, you know, the White Wizard said she wanted to save the world, or save Ellen too. Now, um, going on into this whole, you know, I guess fusion between the White Wizard and Toka, she goes on to say, when we woke up in Earthland, our personalities had become unstable. Sometimes I was myself, and the other times I was the White Wizard. My memory was also hazy, which we knew from when the character was first introduced. Um, and then obviously she says, but thanks to Wendy, you made us separate and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, um, she goes on to mention, like, when the White Wizard woke up, she used Aqua Era in an unstable state. But in here, sending her and you guys to Edelus, which we all know as well. And stuff like that. Um, so, you know, essentially, she goes on to say, she tells the other fairy tale members, she listen, she was supposed to send you to Elantir, but... She couldn't control her power and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and obviously um, to take care of Celine, apparently, stuff like that. Now, they're all the fairy tale crew members are like, say Valentine, or you know, we should, or like, should we do this or something like that and stuff like that. And even Nuns is like, wait, even ask us if we could even do anything. So it's like, you know, whatever. Um, now they all say eventually, like, yeah, Eris has said as well, it's like, well, whatever, it's brash of her to do that stuff, and, you know, things like that. Now, Carla replies to Toka by saying, it's like, Ellen Tier in danger and stuff like that. But Toka goes on to say that Ellen Tier at a point in time, um, was a very peaceful world. 
And that's why she says you can't understand the thinking of a white wizard and stuff like that. Now, um, since Tolk is here, Natsu is like, well, now that you're back, we can finally go back home and go to Earthland. So, yeah. And what I found funny here in this dialogue is that Natsu and Gray, they were both like, we should take Natsu. Natsu. Natsu's like, Natsu's like, we should take Natsu. Gray's like, we should take Gray. Now, Lucy's like, Oh, that is not happening. Not in one, you know, bit now. Um, to the Nazi statement, um, I think she does not want to take care of a kid that's kind of their offspring or their other version's offspring. But I guess to go off tangent for a bit, that just confirms um, that Natsu and Grey want kids. Um, so I don't know, listen. Gray, he kind of has Juvia just sitting there wanting, you know, Prim all to herself. And there has been, you know, past stuff in the past where, you know, Juvia has offered her body to him. So, uh, Gray, if you want a boy, you want a kid, it isn't that hard. You know, you can do what Gajil did, you know, just not tell anybody and, um, you know, do something with uh, Juvia, and uh, maybe you guys can uh, conceive a child. Um, in terms of Natsu, um, I don't know how he's gonna try to convince Lucy to go that route, because we know Lucy is very vehemently, vehemently like, against trying to get herself into a relationship with Natsu, Natsu even though it's gonna happen, much to her chagrin. Um, so, um, he's really gonna have to convince Lucy, hey Lucy, let's make a baby! Even though Lucy would probably be like, hell no. Um, but, come on, stop teasing us, Mashima, and stuff like that. Now, Toka, after that funny conversation, he's like, well, you see, we got two problems we're dealing with right now. Now, she's like, well, the first problem is, um, Yes, the white wizard here, the white wizard here is in Edelis, but uh, I just don't know where she's at. And two, the second problem is uh, <laughs> I have no access to my magic, so uh, we're kind of screwed here. And I'm like, I'm like, so then why did you even come in the first place? You should have stayed your little butt in the little portal then and said, hey, come jump in the portal, let's go. And stuff like that. So, okay. But um, Nightwalker brings on the fact, like, and especially like berating Jal um, Mystigan, but her Jalal, um, Mystigan by saying, wait, you know, Mystigan, don't you have, um, you know, another X-Ball or one more X-Ball? And if you remember what an X-Ball is, way back in the Edelus arc, the X-Ball were like the little, I guess you could say, pill things that they eight which gave them the magic abilities to use their magic full time in um Edelis. so they're going to so jalal went to go fetch it or no um skywalker uh, nightwalker um went to go fetch it so they're gonna get the x-ball and token just eats it and then she'll be able to use aqua era to get back to earth so yeah, um, this and then this is when they say their goodbyes. Urza says, um, like, thank you for helping us and stuff like that. And Mr. Gun's like, hey, of course I will and stuff like that. And we say, we, we see the goodbyes to, you know, and now also um, the Atlas version of Fairy Tale also found uh, the White Witch as well and stuff like that. So, you know, that's where, like I said, they say their goodbyes to, um, Mystagon and uh, the rest of the crew, like Nightwalker, and the others, and Coco, um, which I believe those will probably be the last time we ever see them in the continuity in the fairy tale story ever again. So obviously, Mashima, you know, came back to Edelis. I would say this is like a, uh, I, I would definitely say it's like, you know, a short little Edelis, you know, fan service y thing for the fans who really loved. You know, the Edelus arc. I really did love the Edelus arc and it was honestly a joy to see. Now, I'll get my thoughts on this whole little mini Edelus arc when the whole thing's over, but it was good to see Mystagon and, you know, the others, even though, you know, they're somewhat the same characters and somewhat different in terms of, you know, 
Urza and Nightwalker and stuff like that. Now, I did find another funny scene how, um, you know, Nightwalker tells Urza um, that, hey, treasure uh, your version of your master and stuff like that. And obviously Urza's like, oh, of course I will. And I'm like, ah, I'm like, oh, really? You want to treasure him so much, but you get flustered around him every time you freaking go around this dude. And it's like, could they just hook up for the love of God? Um, I'm tired of seeing like Ur a version of Urza and Jalel that hasn't not yet hooked up because those two have obnoxious feelings about each other. Can we just go back and after this arc is completely done, or after this story is completely done, can they just freaking? And this is how I want Fairy Tale to end off. Can they just like end off like I don't know five years later down the road? You know, you have obviously you'll have. Um, Gajo and Levy's kid already like born and probably be like a five-year-old kid at the time. Um, you know, you can have maybe the relationship start between Evergreen and Elfman, even though that probably should have more than likely started. Um, you know, you could finally have freaking Gray, Juvia finally settled down. Maybe, you know, they already have a kid. You know, not some Lucy which I think would be the end result, you know, Natsu and Lucy, you know, together in a house, maybe in her apartment or maybe Natsu's house, and you just see Lucy holding their baby in her arms or something like that. And then, you know, for the Urza Jalal thing, you just have them just date and start going out or something like that, or maybe getting married. I don't know. I know, I, I know that's, I know it's thinking too hard, but that's how I personally end off the full story of fairy tale. If they wanted to go like a mortal route where they wanted to explain the children of the fairy tale members, then go ahead. That's up to Machina, but that's how I personally end up fairy tale series and storyline off. Each character with their happy ending. Obviously, you would have, you know, Natsu and Lucy together, probably, I don't know, looking over their baby. Anyways, um, it cuts over to the White Wizard. And uh, you see Adelis, um Wendy, you know, was over there with her and stuff like that. Now, essentially, um, this is when the White Wizard gives us her true identity and her true, I guess, name, essentially. Now, she apologizes for what she did and told the Astro, ask, ask her, like, look, are you going to talk to us about this whole situation and stuff like that? Your purpose. Now, we get the confirmation of the White Wizard's name and... The White Wizard's name is Ferris, and she is uh, she is from Ellington. She goes on to say, I came to Earthland a few years ago with a certain purpose. Um, which Urza replies, like, this is strange. Now, Urza, you know, according to Jalal says, Jalal said you've been to Earthland since 100 years ago. It was around then that you formed the White Magic Cult. This is when Ferris is like, that was not me. She goes on to say, the leader of the white magic cult, Rebellious, apparently went by the title White Wizard, but seems to be missing at the moment. I took the position using my whiteout powers and I pretended to be the White Wizard. So this is when we get also the confirmation that Ferris is not the White Wizard, she was pretending to be the White Wizard. Okay, okay. First things first, cause this is, okay, one, this is fucking confusing. Um. So, okay. Um, all right, all right, all right. This is confusing to me. So, okay. The way it sounds like to me, it sounds like the white wizard, um, at this point, it sounds like the white wizard um, used to be in Earthland or just resided in Earthland over those 100 years. Um, and, um, you know, Toka just came here from, you know, Ellen Tier and heard all this stuff. But I think, I think they say later in the chapter, um, what is it? No, no, they don't. So it's either that or I'm guessing this. The White Wizard originated from Ellen Tier, came over to, um, Earthland 100 years ago, um, and then maybe Toka then, or not Toka, um, Ferris then followed 
you know, the person. And after those 100 years have passed or something like that, I guess the cult has said, oh yeah, our uh, master, the white wizard, has been gone for like 100 years and that's when you know Ferris used her white out powers to essentially erase their memories and essentially became pretended or put on a facade that she was the white wizard herself i'm guessing that's what she's saying she did it's kind of confusing how they kind of describe they don't under, they don't make it clear like the white wizards from ellen's here here and stuff like that so yeah so essentially you know ferris did all that stuff Kind of for nothing when she could have just went up to fairy tale instead of acted so much of as you know an antagonistic type of person, which I don't know why. It's like if you, which is another confusing thing. Like it's kind of a nitpicky thing, but I can understand what people are like. Well, why did you do what you did? You could have just went up to fairy tale's front door and been like, hey, could you guys help me out with this situation and stuff like that. Um, instead of doing all this evil stuff like controlling freaking fairy tale and making them fight each other because it's like because I'm like so you did all this bad stuff and you made fairy tale fight each other for what when you could have just been like uh, could you guys help me out with this situation going on stuff like that um, so anyway she goes on to say to widen Earthland's magical powers to nullify it was my mission as she states on the set. Now, Toka asks her like, now why would you try to nullify, you know, the magical powers of Earthling? And this is when she goes and say, well, it was my mission. And stuff like that. Now, Gray replies, but like, you really do expect us to believe that? And, you know, Ferris is like, look, I understand why you would not want to believe me that I did these things to you. But then the, the last, you know, panel, where the manga chapter ends off is Ferris says, Ellen Tear will be destroyed at the hands of the moon dragon god Selene. And it ends up to be, to be continued. And the manga will not return till November 4th, um, 2020. Um, which is, again, in two weeks from now. Um, so, okay. So, the moon god dragon Selene wants to destroy the world of Ellen Tear. Um, okay, yeah, we, we've already come to the point where we know that there are some dragon gods that are good and some dragon gods that are bad. You know, Alderaan was kind of a bad dragon. You know, I forgot the one dude. Um, the water god dragon was good. The fire god dragon, he's not exactly the nicest guy. Um, so it seems like the moon god dragon, Selene, isn't the best either. And it seems like she's willing to destroy her own world and countless of many people in that world. So it seems like the next thing is they're going to go to Elantir to stop the Moon God Dragon. Um, I'm guessing that's where it's going to be headed for the story. So, um, okay. As well as um, we get introduced to, well, not a new character. But we get introduced to the real person behind the facade of the White Wizard and be introduced to Ferris. So we'll see how Ferris is as a character going forward. She seems like a sweethearted, kind girl, and she didn't mean any harm doing all this stuff. And it seems like this mission she sent on, she was sent on was like kind of some kind of forced mission or something like that. Now, I don't know why she needed to nullify the powers of the magical powers of Earthland to get what she wants. You no, know, like I said, why can't she just go up to Fairy to ask him, hey, um, my overruler, the moon god dragon, is trying to destroy my world. Can you help me take her down or something like that? So, yeah, um, this manga chapter was fine. Um, like I said, we get our goodbyes, um, to Mr. Gun and the crew. Um, as well as we get more of an explanation, more of a backstory of what led up to Toka being, you know, controlled by Ferris. Um, and stuff like that. Her backstory of how she came to Earthland, stuff like that, as well as get, you know, Ferris's little, short little backstory on what's going on, why she did what she did. But other than that, I thought the manga chapter was fairly fine, you know, still, it was a decent manga chapter. Um, it still is hyping up the fact that, you know, 
the next, you know, moon, the next dragon god we have to take down is Selene, the moon god dragon. And then I believe we only have a fire god one left, and then that's it. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyways, that's it. So, if you guys liked the video, leave a like. Um, put in the comment section your thoughts on who was, you know, here. Um, I guess one you can talk about either Ferris, your thoughts on Ferris so far and her purpose and goals. Or I guess you can talk about the fact of uh, the whole Natsu and Grey wanting to bring Edelus version of their uh, Edelus versions of their kids back to Earthland, which I think the Edelus parents of them will vehemently disagree with that um, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, as well as hit that subscribe button to get more fairy tale 100 year quest. Um, I keep telling myself I gotta work on. I just have to find time in my schedule um, to start working on the fairy tale um, arc videos again. I just haven't had time in my schedule. Last part where I left off, I think it was the crap. It was the arc where the celestial spirits go bad. That arc. I, maybe that's why I'm taking so long because I don't want to talk about it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna find some time to do that in my schedule. Um, but also, yeah. Anyways, also hit that notification button to get updated for any um, other, you know, updates or uploads I bring to the channel. Anyways, this has been Camp 15. And then um, I'm going to get out of here. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.